back with another video, back with another video. So we're going to do a red velvet um, cake, red velvet cake layers. And this is my new version of the red velvet cake. Okay, my new version of the red velvet cake recipe. So I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, which I've already sifted at. One and one half cup of sugar. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. We have one teaspoon of salt. We're going to put that in there. We have one tablespoon of cocoa powder, and I'm going to sift this in there. Let me do this right. I'm going to sift this in there because you know cocoa we got those little have those little crumbs. So we're going to sift all. We're going to sift the ingredients. Sift this in here. So like so like this right here. Sift that up. Get all that out so it won't be no clumps in your batter. See if can get some here. So, uh oh, I almost kicked some up out of the batter. All right, got that done. We're going to um, get my whisk down here. I'm going to mix this all together. So, like, so like this right here, just mix it up. And I've already sifted this. We're making a red velvet cake, I'm doing three cake uh, layers. I have my pans ready go ahead on and subscribe to my channel like share hit that notification bell so we're going to put that to the side now we have one cup of buttermilk one cup of we got to have that buttermilk for the red velvet now got to have the buttermilk one cup of buttermilk put that over there to the side we have two egg yolks okay two egg yolks going to put that in there so like that we have one half cup of oil. Put that in there so like so like that. And my new version, we also have one cup of sour cream instead of one one cup of oil. That recipe calls for. I always use sour cream. It makes the cake light, fluffy, moist, and delicious. So we're gonna put that in there. Let me get, put this in there so like, so like that. Put this all up. Get my wet ingredients in here. All right. Put that in there, so like, so like that. And we're going to go ahead on and add our red food coloring to, to this mixture. And we're going to mix it up. You don't need a lot. That's gel. This is a red gel food coloring, so you don't need a lot of food coloring. And you can use the regular food coloring. It um, comes in a little bottle down the store. It looking pink, so I'll probably add just a little bit more. Okay, because once I mix this batter, it's going to be turning red anyway. Okay, we're going to mix this in so like, so like that. So I put this in. Okay, so like, so like that right there. Then we're going to add a little vanilla flavor. So we have some vanilla bean paste, which is so good, y'all. This is some good stuff. And this is one tablespoon. Go ahead and put it in so like so like that. Get your vanilla in there. All right, put that over there. Get that mixed in. I know what y'all saying. Where's the vinegar? Well, I got the vinegar and I have the uh, baking soda, okay? I got it in the so like, so like that right there. What we're going to do, get ready to combine this. So let's add this the wet mixture into the dry. I'm going to add a wet mixture into the dry. Get this all in there, so, so like this, so like that. I know y'all probably can't see, because I'm trying to get all of my batter, my uh, wet ingredients out of this bowl. I don't like the waste. I want every drop, okay? Every drop. <laughs> Making red velvet cake layers, okay? Red velvet cake layers. Gonna twist that around. Now, so like, so like this, just twist it around. Because you want your cake to be very moist, so. A lot of times I don't even use my mixer when I'm doing this red velvet cake. I might do just a little bit, but not that much. Okay, get that all mixed in. Okay, I'm gonna hit it just a little bit with my mixer, just a little bit, not that much. Okay, that's 
enough right there. You want your cake, cake dinner to be delicious and moist. Delicious and moist is what we're going for, okay? So, now that we have that in there, I'm going to put two egg yolks. These are the egg whites. We're going to fold that in there. We have one teaspoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add that together. See how it's sizzling up? I got to get all of it up. Okay, so it's sizzling up. Just do this right here. Get that vinegar in there. And this is like an uh, acid for this cake. It's going to make it lighter. I'm going to pour this in here. I'm going to mix that in there so like that. Get all that in there. Mix that in. Now, these are my egg whites that I beat up. So we're going to fold this in. Okay, we're going to fold this in. So like, so like that. I went ahead and tried to beat them up um, before I start the video, so it won't take so long. So, this is the red velvet. And I'm going to show you what these layers look like once I take them out of the oven. So, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. And I'll be back. I'm going to bake these at 345 in my convection oven. So, you have to... Um, adjust your uh, stove, your oven when you have a convection. And I'll be back in 35 minutes. Thanks for watching my channel. Be back. So I'm back with the red velvet cakes. Layers, they have baked up. And these little things right here are called heating coils. And I always use these in my cake. They uh, bake your cake even. And these, this right here came out. So I'm Pull this back a little bit, so I fluff it, so that's not greasy or oily. You want your cakes to be light, fluffy. And I'm gonna get these wrapped up so it retains the moisture. Then uh, after 24 hours, I will ice my cakes because you need to make sure to bake your cakes one day, ice the next day, so all the ingredients can settle in the cake. It's like being married. You marry the cake. This is the little heating coil. And it bakes, the heating coil is in the middle, so the heat is distributed all around your cake layers. You don't have to use them on um, just an uh, 8 inch, but if you're doing like a 3 inch or a 4 inch, you definitely want to use these heating coils. Because believe me, I've been doing this for a minute now, and it helps. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. And these are the red velvet cake layers. Once I put that buttercream icing in between them, oh my goodness. Thanks for watching my channel. See you on the next episode.